So um, from FDA's perspective, we think that patient preference information can play a couple of key roles. One is to help identify which benefits and risks are most important from the patient perspective. So oftentimes, when designing a clinical trial, you'll start with a laundry list of things that you're looking at, and we have uh, perspectives from a variety of you know, clinical perspectives and other uh, disciplines on what should be the most important thing to measure. And in a lot of cases, we haven't asked ourselves what do patients care about most. Um, we can also assess the relative importance of items on that list, different benefits and risks and attributes of devices, um, and understand how patient preference vary across the population.